Happy New Year, children! How was your Christmas break? Great! That's good to hear! New Year, new life, new lesson in science! Are you excited for it? Yes? Well, let's get it started! Lesson 17, Reproduction in Spore-Bearing and Cone-Bearing Plants In this lesson, you should be able to describe many flowering plants, discuss the life cycle of ferns, mosses, and pine trees, differentiate how cone-bearing and spore-bearing plants reproduce. Got it, dear pupils? Very good! Recall what you have learned about flowering and non-flowering plants. Classify the following examples as flowering or non-flowering. Draw a flower in the blank if it is a flowering plant, or a circle if it is non-flowering. Were you able to reach your target score? Good job! Let's talk about reproduction in non-flowering plants. Plants, like any other living organisms, continue to live on Earth by reproduction. Plants reproduce in many ways. Most plants reproduce through the union of two different sex cells or sexual reproduction. Some plants reproduce without the union of two different sex cells or asexual reproduction. Others reproduce through their vegetative parts, from roots, stems, or leaves.
Let us recall our lesson. Describe man flowering plants. Good. Discuss the life cycle of ferns, mosses, and pine trees. Excellent. Differentiate how cold bearing and spore bearing plants reproduce. Good job! Let us appreciate man flowering plants in our community by taking good care of them. They also have their purpose on earth. That is the end of our lesson. I hope you learned something today. For your activity, kindly answer Zoom in. Letters A and B on page 183 of your science textbook. Submit your answers in the uploaded assignment link in our science course third quarter folder. Goodbye and see you in class.